How do you calculate your target CPA for your Shopify store with Facebook ads? Don't know what I'm talking about? How much can you spend to acquire one customer and either be profitable on day one or profitable on day 90? How do you implement LTV and how do you determine if you want to be profitable on customer or purchase number one or profitable on day number 90? So a lot of these different metrics right here you have to understand as you scale as an e-com store because there's a lot of different ways to build your business. There's some businesses we work with that spend a couple hundred thousand dollars a month on Facebook ads and are not profitable on day one but yet they're so profitable on the 90 day LTV that it makes sense for them. There's some businesses we work with, they have to be unprofitable on day one just because their business is not built on LTV yet. So this video will be giving you guys a free tool to be able to calculate your target CPA and run a few different models for your business to see which makes the most sense for you. Now, if you're questioning why I'm credible to be teaching these types of things, I've spent over or I've done over $50 million in online revenue with Facebook ads for Shopify stores. I run a Facebook ads agency and I also coach and mentor students. You can find the links to both of those below to have either Nick Terrio run your ads or have Nick Terrio mentor you and coach you. Now, before we get started, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And let's dive into the video. So, here is the target CPA calculator. Now, to basically get access to this sheet, just simply click the link below and in the description box, I'll have a link to it. Now, all you have to do is go to file, make a copy, okay? If you try to request access to it, I'm not gonna approve access to it. So you have to go to file, make a copy, and then you can save it to your Google Drive. I tell that to you guys and I still get people try to request access and I just keep hitting decline and block in my email. So don't request access, okay? Now, once you have access to the sheet, um, on top of this video, I also give you a Loom video of how to actually fill out this sheet if you need further information, okay? So let's go into it. So the first thing you need to know is your AOV. So look inside maybe your trip well, Here's just my triple well right now. I'm looking at the last 90 days and I can type in my AOV. So for this particular store, it's $77. I'm gonna leave these metrics right here for right now. This is one of our other stores that we're doing about a million dollars a month. So I know crazy, right? Um, but yeah, so just leaving that there for right now. Okay, so cost of goods, how much are you spending per AOV? Okay, now just a little heads up. If you know that it's 20% of your AOV, just do 91 times 20% and that's your cost of goods, okay? How much, you know, if someone spends $91, your AOV, which is your last 90 days, what percentage of that is cost of goods and which percentage of that is shipping and handling, okay? So get your landed cost per AOV. Now again, this is the light blue is the editable cells where you can kind of mess around with those numbers. Now, this means that our gross profit margin per AOV is $60. Okay, our gross margin is 67%, okay? Now, our break-even CPA is also $60.97, so we can spend up to $60.97 to break even, okay? Is that good or bad? I don't know, it depends, okay? Calculated gross break-even ROAS, 1.49. So we know if we do a 1.49 ROAS, we break even, okay? Now, the next part is implementing your three-month LTV, okay? So that's $118. Again, just go look at Triple Well, for the last 90 days, and you can see LTV right here, just $75, okay? Um, which that doesn't seem correct right there. It's usually higher, uh, but it could just be due to no one's repeat purchasing and some people are, are actually pulling out refunds. So we're actually losing money in that sense for that particular store, okay? Um, this is, again, this is my other store that, again, Rick said, we're doing a million dollars a month right now in revenue. So I'm just leaving that one. Now, three month NC ROAS, okay? So if we go to Triple Well, you have ROAS right here, which is 2.04. Then I have NC ROAS, which is 1.91, okay? NC ROAS is your new customer revenue, okay? This is not overall revenue, okay? So overall revenue is ROAS, which is overall revenue divided by ads, okay? We want to do new customer revenue, okay? Which is your total sales that are new customers divided by ads, okay? Now this store, we have no LTV built in, in place, okay? Terrible example of a store, but just showing you an example, okay? This particular store, really good because their three month LTV is $118, their AOV being $91. So we see a big increase from AOV to LTV, okay? Now our NC for this particular store is about 2.75 and we're averaging $164,000 a month on ad spend, okay? so. The first thing I'm gonna give you guys is your current NC ROAS. And this is all gonna be auto-populated, okay? Which is just what you're currently doing right now. So based off these current numbers, we're gonna, we're gonna do $138,000 a month in profit, okay? And then three month LTV comes out to $229,000 in profit. Now you don't make 138K and then make another 229K. No, this 4,974 customers you acquired 
made $138,000 cost in profit month one. Now these 4,974 customers are gonna increase in value from 138K to $229,000. So we make almost $100,000 more in profit, okay? Over a 90 day LTV, okay? Now, so that's scenario number one, which is just your current scenario. Now scenario number six, I also have your break even scenario. So let's just say for example, if we spend $164, $4,605, we're going to break even at $0 on month one, but over 90 days due to our LTV, we're going to profit $50,000. Okay. So that just shows you how LTV plays in play. There's some brands we work with where they'll spend $500,000 in a month, break even, and then over 90 days, make $149,000 in profit. Okay. Comes out to 50 K a month in profit. When you keep stacking that up, then you, you get to a point where you have six or seven months, each paying you 50K a month, and you're doing 300K a month in profit, and you're scaled up to a shitload of high and spin, okay? So just a couple things to look at, okay? So now let's start modeling here, okay? So again, I get a lot of people ask me, hey, Nick, I wanna do a 2X for us at Facebook, or I'm currently doing a 2X for us at Facebook. Is that good? And it, it depends, okay? Because I'm gonna show you right quick, all right? 2X ROAS at 15K in spin is not that great, okay? but a 2X ROAS at $150,000 in spend, that's amazing, okay? This is why ROAS does not matter, okay? Oh wait, actually I have that wrong, 2.0, okay? So $51,000 in profit, okay? So we do a 2X at 15K in spend, that comes out to $5,000 in profit, and you know it increases by $6,000 to $11,000 for that goal. Then we, we go to 150K, then all of a sudden, hey, we're doing 150K a month in spend, at $51,000 a month in profit with a three month LTV of $111,000. These 3,200 customers increase in value by $60,000, okay? So that's why it depends, okay? And it also depends on your unique scenario, okay? If you're, you know, let's just say for example, your cost of goods was a lot higher. I don't know, we're gonna say like this was like $50. All of a sudden your break even rest is 2.63, okay? So now because your break even rest is 2.63, you need to a different number, okay? So for example, we spend 500K at a 2.63 row as, you're gonna break even month one, but then you'll do $149,000 over three months in terms of profit, okay? But then all of a sudden, your current metrics right here, look how much it decreased in profit, okay? Boom, boom, okay? Then look at scenario two and three. Now all of a sudden, this becomes unprofitable. But if you never ran the math, you would never know. <laughs> so that's why this is super important here, okay? So I'm just gonna control Z that to, to bring that back. Now, what's cool about understanding this is that it gives you a place to where you can kind of run scenarios, okay? Now, let me go over a few other things, okay? So let's just say, for example, you know, with this particular stuff, you can model different things here. You can model the LTV, and then you can also model your like particular ROAS targets, which is also gonna give you your CPA, because you can see right here, these are the CPAs you need to hit, okay? So let's say, for example, if we want to go with scenario three, 2X ROAS at 150K spin, all we need to do is hit a $45 CPA for NC CPA. So that's NC CPA, which is da, 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 uh, right here, $38. So I just need to make sure I hit a $45 CPA at whatever spend, you know, 150K in spend to be able to hit this particular goal here. Okay. So a couple of things we need to look at here. So there's a couple different ways to increase this profit because that's the main goal is to increase profit. Okay. So let's say, for example, here we have $138,000 of profit, 2.75X ROAS. One way we can improve this is by cutting down cost of goods. Okay. So right now we have $23. Let's just say somehow we can magically get this down to $10. Okay. Watch how much this improves. It goes from $138,000 of profit to $206,000 in profit by just simply improving your cost of goods okay you know now a 50 percent reduction cost of goods is probably not that likely but i do know some people where they are at like a you know super high cost of goods and only have a 30 percent margin okay then for them they're doing everything that correctly on facebook but yet they're still trying to squeeze more on facebook when it's just not realistic so for them the what makes the most sense is cutting down cost of goods and then you look at their business oh they're print on demand they're using a third party to do all the printing and the third party's charging them 50 percent per shirt and it's like oh well fuck, that's the problem there so you need to go figure out how to bring the winning designs in house and cut down your cost of goods and then all of a sudden now you have a 70 percent margin versus a 38 percent margin Okay, now you just made your profit margin back without even touching Facebook. So sometimes it's not necessarily a Facebook thing. So that's why you wanna mess with all these different numbers, okay? Now, obviously you can improve AOV, that's great, but too many people focus on AOV. I think it's great that you improve AOV, but 
I think there's also not enough focus on LTV, okay? Specifically the 90 day LTV. So let's say someone purchases from you, you wanna to continue to get them to purchase again, release new products and improve the business, okay? So right now we have a three month LTV, $118, which 91 times 0.25 is $22, 91 plus 22, $113. So this is good. I like to see a L three month LTV, 25% higher than AOV, okay? just something good just as a baseline okay so if your aov if your ltv isn't at least 25 percent higher than your aov then you need to work on your business okay now again every business is built different but you need to find a way to improve that so let's just say for example if we had a 91 L L ltv okay let's just say like we're running the business with no ltv okay it's just like people purchase from us from one time and that's it well we only do one hundred forty one thousand dollars in profit right now okay and then look three month ltv one hundred forty one thousand dollars there's no increase in value here so we make nothing extra but because our ltv is 118 dollars we make a whole almost ninety thousand dollars more in profit okay so also i encourage you guys to play around with the ltv now granted these cells aren't edible but you can edit them because all they do is just equal whatever this cell is so let's just say for example boom so paste that in there actually no i don't want that 2.75 thousand dollars in spend okay cool now let's just say for example i'm just gonna type over let's just say we do that to 130 dollars ltv um i'm gonna bring these two over da, 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 150 dollars ltv okay you can see right there just by improving the ltv we literally add forty thousand dollars more a month in profit almost a, over a hundred thousand dollars more in profit by simply improving the ltv with no changes to roas or spent okay that's why it's important to look at these types of things now if you change your ltv and just want to make this cell go back to normal just press the equal sign and click on three month ltv right here equal sign and then three month ltv right here okay cool so yeah so this is pretty much the sheet that i recommend you guys play around with if and model different parts of your business okay a couple questions i would ask myself is okay number one how much profit do I want to make on a monthly basis? Okay. How much profit do I need on a monthly basis? So like, let's say for example, my business has $25,000 a month in expenses. Okay. So I have to make at least 25 K in profit to break even. Okay. So let's just say, what would that look like here? Um, I don't know. Let's just do like $80,000 in spend. Okay. So two X at, at, at $80,000 in spend, that'll make us about 25 or 28 K in profit. Okay. Now, if I'm like, Hey, I need to make more than that. Okay. Well, there's a couple different things we could do here. So obviously this is profit on a monthly basis. Again, this is only on NC ROAS too. This is not even including overall. So you will make more than just this profit, but just to start off, model it on new customers, okay? Um, up till, till you get to the point where like, hey, I know I'm making about $30,000 more over the next 90 days. So because of that, once they'll start stacking, like once you go to month three, you have three, you have two months prior, which this is see 30K increase over, 60 days because you're, you're looking at the next two months that's about 15k extra a month in profit you're making on month three you're gonna have two months of 15k profit coming in month one and month two that's basically gonna increase your your monthly profit by 30k on top of this so i will be making my 20 over my 25k i'm actually making about 58,000 when you're including both new customer and returning customer revenue okay but just for sake of simplicity right now i'm just gonna do okay hey we're doing 28k in profit off of this i'm doing 25 I need 25, but that's just to cover my expenses. I also want to make some money as well myself. So then I'm just going to come there and type in, let's say if we double spend, we can spend $160,000 a month on a 2X ROAS. That's going to be the 25K I need to cover my business expenses, but it's also going to give me about 20, 25K as well. I can blow myself to just pay myself. Okay. Very simple. Now, also again, look how much more your 90 day LTV increase. So give it a month or two and you're actually going to be making way more profit, which you can actually invest back into the business on more customer acquisition, which then, you know, Hey, like that allow you to spend a significant more. So I don't know, let's just say you drop down to 1.75, 1.75. And then all of a sudden you're spending $300,000 a month. Boom. You know, now all of a sudden you're still doing 55 K a month in profit. But now your three month LTV is about 162,000. So you make another $100,000 over two months. Now you start adding in 50K a month in extra profit on top of your new customers. 
It's a point now where that multiplies by 12 months. All of a sudden, you're doing, you know, 100, 200, 300 thousand dollars a month in profit just from returning customers, okay? Because you've been acquiring new customers consistently, okay? So that's why it's so important to get this in. And that's why a lot of brands just don't understand this. No one's really taught this, but it's super, super vital because it allows for new customer acquisition. And your goal is to continue to keep acquiring new customers to continue to keep and monetizing those customers. Again, if you're building a business as a one product business, you will fail. Um, these businesses stay around for about 90 days and they end the game. So you need to focus on continuing to build a business with a customer journey that's going to have, you know, basically, hey, you know, look at Apple. Just just look at Apple and just look how they did it, okay? You could buy an iPhone, then you can buy an iPhone 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They upsell you every single year on a new iPhone, okay? You can also buy a MacBook. You can also buy an iPad. They horizontally scale products or vertically scale products and horizontally scale product lines. They have a lot of product lines with multiple products of the same product in each product line. They keep releasing new products of that same exact product because they know people will buy it with just new and improved versions, okay? So this is the type of stuff that you want to look at in your business and be modeling for because this is going to allow you to build that business that you want. And this is the type of things that we do right when we come into a new account. Because there's sometimes where we come into a new ad account and there's nothing necessarily they need to do differently with Facebook ads. They just need a business restructure of how they're looking at all their metrics. And then once they figure that out, they're like, oh shit, okay, this makes sense. They flip everything around and then boom, all of a sudden they're like super profitable and they didn't even touch anything inside of Facebook ads. So really hope you guys, um, you know, took some value from this video. Go apply it to yourself. Um, it's definitely a game changer for those, you know, Shopify, Facebook ads and all that good stuff right there. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. My name is Nick Terrio. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.